Cody. People on Madeira show concern tonight after seeing an NTSB report about the plane that crashed into a home there two weeks ago. It points towards potential causes of why the plane dove into a home, killing the pilot. David Winter is back from the neighborhood today. David. Well, Rob, it's only a preliminary report, but it does bring up several points that give pause, especially to those who easily could have been injured or killed in that neighborhood. Carter Wade is one of those neighbors. The plane landed a few yards from his home. The house that it hit still wrecked. He says whenever planes go over, his neighbors... They look up and wonder, and I'm kind of the same way. And now they wonder why certain decisions were made regarding that flight. The NTSB report states that a relative of the pilot said about a week prior to the accident that the pilot told him the plane had a fuel leak. The report says that an employee of Mark Inc., the company that owned the plane, also said the plane had a fuel leak and it was due to be exchanged with another plane so it could be repaired. But that employee said the plane was not exchanged and the pilot was brought in to continue flying it anyway. Thomas Bryson, the attorney for the company that owned the plane and employed the pilot, told us that the company has received no information from the relative mentioned in the report and cannot corroborate that account. He says the company has begun its own investigation, and he told us the company at this point is not taking a position on whether there was a leak. Well, obviously that's a you know grave concern for, for anyone. That uh, certainly it's a tragedy for the pilot and for my neighbors, and uh, it could have been much worse. Yeah, could have, been, could have been more loss of life in this neighborhood. A lot of children and people were home. And while neighbors are concerned about the apparent fuel issue, they are also concerned about the decisions made by the pilot. The NTSB report states the pilot reported he was having a fuel problem when he was near Dayton Wright Brothers Airport. When air traffic control suggested he land there, he requested to continue on to Lunkin Airport, 35 miles away. And having made that decision to press on to Lunkin, he now exposed a very populated area, which was ultimately the neighborhood that he came down in, uh, to the uh, unnecessary risk of uh, the danger of an airplane falling out of the sky. Attorney Bryson says the company hires experienced pilots and it relies on those pilots to exercise judgments that would normally be expected from a pilot with comparable experience. Another neighbor also says he expects pilots to make sound decisions. You're in a plane, you know, it's your life up there at 10, 15,000 feet or whatever, and knowing that you got a fuel problem, I wouldn't even do that in my car, let alone an airplane. Well, again, this is just a preliminary report. The final NTSB report that will make conclusions about the cause of the crash, well, that is not due out for another 12 to 14 months. Rob, Paula? David, thanks very much. The pilot, David Sapwell, is based out of Arizona.